Liam Jones, 19 matches in 2021. And I feel like we're moving into this point with Liam Jones where the body of work is really, really starting to add up. And um, I guess the Liam Jones experience for me, I, I remember when he first got to the club and I remember I was one of the many people who thought, oh, like, I don't know if he's going to be with us anymore. And obviously, he's had this big turnaround and and ever since then, he, he just keeps getting better and better. Um I love watching. I love having him in the team because you, you know what you're going to get in terms of a in, in terms of effort, um, heart, determination, and all of those things. Um, I think slowly but surely we will move away from that that paranoia of you know when he when he makes a mistake because because everyone makes mistakes and everyone in the team makes mistakes at at certain points. I think with defenders, you know, when you make skill errors in you know our defensive 50, it probably hurts you more than if you make them in our forward 50 or, or whatnot. Um, but you can't question what he brings to the club from a, from a leadership point of view. And um, I guess his story as well is is inspirational and, and important for everyone else to, to draw from in, in the team. So he's done it the hard way. He keeps going. Um, I love the synergy between you know himself and, and Jacob Wiedering. They have spoken about it a bit in 2021 in, in little media grabs that we've seen throughout the year. And, you know, Jonesy talks about how, you know, Wiedering keeps him on his toes. And I think Wiedering would, would feel the same way about Jones. And, you know, they're a serious tandem. And there was there's an amazing stat out there. I'm not sure how it ended up at the end of the season, but it was with respect to over 100 one-on-one -on -one contests with Liam Jones and his opponent, and he only had lost one or two of them. So uh, as a defender, you, you know what you're going to get. Um, I, think, I think he is really he has really closed the gap between his best games and his worst games. Um, and that's a real credit to him. And, and I enjoy watching him play. And I enjoy watching his improvement, even at, at his age as well. Um, I, I think we can still get quite a few seasons out of him. I think, you know, long term, when I'm thinking about the next decade, I think we definitely need to find, you know, a, a replacement who, you know, when Liam Jones does retire, whether that's in two, three, four years, whatever the case may be, we, we need to find someone as an, as an understudy. Um, is that a Luke Parks type? Is it a Mitch McGovern? I don't really know, but I do think that position I've always got a mind for the future. So, um, but for the right now and for the next couple of seasons, I think Liam Jones will be there. I think he'll be he'll be you know a two hundred game player and he'll he'll play his two hundred games, um, you know, at the Carlton Football Club uh, in terms of when he will reach that milestone. And and I think we you know we can we can have faith in what he's going to bring and. And, and we go from there. Uh, what about you? How, how did you see Jonesy's season? Well, what, what do you look at and, and what do you see when, when you watch him play? And, and what, what was your take? Let me know in the comments below and we'll chat about it there. <laughs>